getting super excited. We are going to be doing uh, this week. We're starting, so our permitting is done. We have, uh, our permits are approved now. We have the pole barn that we're gonna be building first. We have that on order. So that's gonna be here in like two or three weeks. Very excited about that. And this week we're gonna start putting the gravel road in and getting the, um, the pad for our pole barn um, laid. I wanted to get a view of the entire flat property before we start putting a bunch of construction on it, so. What are you doing, hon? So what's out for the driveway. What's been done so far? Like, what have we got accomplished so far? Well, we've got a survey and done. We've got a building permit. We've got a septic permit. We've got our well done. Now we're getting ready to build the driveway and the rock pad for the building. So it's going to be a gravel driveway, right? Yep, gravel driveway into a pad. Pad for our pole barn. For the barn, yep. And our pole barn is a 44 by 60, right? Yep, we have a 44 by 60 monitor. 44, what does monitor mean? The center section is taller than the side. Okay, gotcha. It's for the power. Oh, power alongside the driveway. Okay. So Rocking the driveway. And at the same time, he's putting in a trench for the power. Got to get power to a transformer up there by the house in the building. Okay. And at that point, then we get inspected and we get it buried. That's part of what we're burying is conduit for the power and conduit for the, for the Comcast. So the PUD has also been approved? Yes. Okay. PUD has been approved. At this point, we just got to get our conduit for the power to tie in. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at. So this is our main power box. That's power run to the property. So we have the PUD to tie in to. Okay. So once we get all of our lines in and we get it okay, we got to set our transformer and then they'll come and pull the main wire. Gotcha. Full bar to be over there, future house will be right there. Right. So this is starting from the ground up every day. Yeah, exactly. That's why I wanted to show We're it. be the very first ones. Yeah, there's eight plots out here. When the kit gets here, we are ready to go. So we're ready to roll. So we're trying to get everything done up front before we get all the stuff here. Cause I know Rob is chomping at the bit to get this thing started. Yeah. Dream come true, right honey? 50 year plus. 50 year plus dream yep. to build on flat acreage like this. Perfect soil, really good farmland soil. We plan on having our own little ranch slash farm slash Berenson Ranch. Berenson Ranch, that's what we're calling it. Yeah. We're calling it a ranch because we'll have cattle, horses, all kinds of animals. That's all new for me, folks. <laughs> I'm a flower farmer, not an animal farmer, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Chickens, turkeys, peacocks. Yeah, no. The proposed site for the house mm -hmm. okay. is going to be a barn style home. Yep. We're going to create an open beam house. Open timber, open beam. Yep. Big vaulted barn style. It'll look like a barn, basically. On the outside, yeah. <laughs> yep, from the outside, it'll look like a barn. It's gonna be kind of like a rustic style home. We want to start a new trend. Choose the shop. Full right. barn. Yep. Once we get our driveway in, we get the ditch line. That's the transformer. We'll have a rock pad out here, and this will be the pad for our building. The full barn. It's gonna look very different in a week from now. Starting from scratch. Anybody can do it if you set a goal. 